hello everyone hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to cook my own version of um, nachos nachos cheese or chips and dips so here in the skillet I put a uh, two package of uh, ground beef and you just cook it and then after it's done cooking um, I need to drain the grease yung mantika pinahanglan atong i-drain so I'm gonna drain that once this is done and then it's gonna be like maybe five more minutes this is not completely done I still have stuff I have to put in here and we're gonna try to mash it like the best that we can do so it won't be like too big Okay, so I didn't even drain the grease because there's nothing to drain. It's um, I realized the the beef that we bought at the store. It's like 85% lean meat, so there's like 15% of grease, but it's actually like pretty much gone. So I didn't I didn't have to drain the grease. So which is good that makes cooking easy much easier okay so the next step I'm going to do I have a Velveeta cheese that I cut into cubes and I have a rotel and milk because you will need um, you will need a little bit of milk it doesn't have to be any particular milk you can do you can put any type of milk 1% 2% or whole milk so the one that I'm using is whole milk. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put all of the Velveeta cheese in here. Okay, I got it all in here, and then since there's no water or juice or anything, and it's dry, so I'm gonna add the milk. So at first, you just put a little bit of milk, not too much, because I want it to be thick once the Velveeta cheese gets all melted. Okay, and then uh, turn on the fire a little bit. I think I need to put a lid on. Okay, I'm gonna let it simmer for like five minutes and then I'm gonna mix it again. Okay, it's time to mix. And it won't stick on the bottom. And I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Yeah, 
I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. This is going to be cheesy. A lot of cheese in here. slowly melting the cheese and they're all gonna blend in gonna blend in to our ground beef okay so I added a little bit of milk so that's going to be enough milk and then I'm just Mixed it to blend it all together. And guys, you don't need to add any any seasonings really because the Velveeta cheese is already salty. So I didn't add any any seasoning on this. If you want to add seasoning or seasoning, maybe just uh, pepper but I'm not even gonna add anything here so this is what I always do so my kids they don't want their nachos to have a a rotel uh, rotel is a diced tomatoes with green chilies on it but my husband loves jalapeno jalapeno and hot peppers so yeah so i'm gonna um take like two bowl for my bowls for my kids and then i leave the rest in the in the pan and then i'm gonna mix um the rotel in it Okay, so I'm going to add the rotel. This is the rotel original diced green chilies. Uh, you can you can use whatever you like. There's all kinds of rotel at the store. Or if you don't want to put rotel, it's up to you. So I drain most of the juice from the rotel so that's why there's not much juice in it just very little and just mix it all up it's very simple and it's really delicious my nacho cheese and the chips that we're going to use is by Tostitos it's multi-grain chips it's the, the scoop kind yeah that's what we always use all right guys that's all thank you all so much for watching please subscribe to my channel Bye.